It's a uh, decoder install in a COD OSD 40-2. I got the BNSF 6752. I'm going to install a, uh, a DH-165K1A uh, Digitrax decoder and a Digitrax uh, SF SFX004 sound bug uh, sound module speaker and uh, capacitor here. Um, so we'll start right off. Of course, first thing uh, we got to remove the shell. Easy enough. Take the couplers out. Shell just kind of pops off, rock it a little bit. There it goes. Put the shell aside. Uh, we need to remove the speaker housing. It has a speaker housing on the bottom. There are two tabs on either side of the speaker housing. They're right in here. Um, I just push on them, kind of push it out. If you want to go full board, take the trucks off and uh, make it even easier on yourself. There you go, side by side. Um, remember, this is the front. I'm gonna go. I'd like to remember which side is the front, so I just marked a little F on the front part of the loco. Um, let's take out the old decoder. And actually, this has a, a light board with the Digitrax uh, plug and play decoder I stuck in there earlier last week. Um, we just pull out the wires, four wires, unscrew it. There's two screws on the top of the decoder. We unscrew one. And it has little clips in here that hold the decoder down. Right here, one and two. Just pinch them a little bit. They might need, even need to be pinched. I keep my screws. Set my decoder aside. The old one, or old uh, light board. Okay, uh, let's see. First thing first. Got this up. I'm going to uh, go ahead and install the speaker. And there's a way to route this wire. Let me see. There's little slots here in the speaker uh, housing for the wire to come through. So I chose the wrong side. I'm going to stamp that back in place and pull the uh, floor off on this side. Just a little bit of pressure. Not hard. I don't want to rip it in half. Just kind of pulls up there. It's, it's held on by this, it's just by friction into this little thing here. So I think it's going to be hard to actually break, but I always like to be careful. Okay, the speaker can fit right into its little housing and route the wires into. There's actually two little slots, which should make it easy for. Put the wires in. Okay, those are both there. 
into the slots. I'll see why I can't put the speaker housing on to hold this better. Except that I can't find it. Um, front goes this way. I just want to have my sight glasses towards the front, which the front is up here. Route these wires under this here, get them out of the way. that slot there so the speaker house can more than cover it hide it e easily you know, speaker housing just slides back together and it actually helps if you line it up correctly this one I slid together and I didn't actually have it on the on there the whole way. So I'll unclip it. No problem. It clips like that. Let's try this again. Make your house want to slide fully seated down. Seated down, I'm fully seated down. Let's see this one. And the sound bug actually gets installed underneath the decoder, so it pushes in to these eight pins here. Your eight pin uh, slot actually, I think it sticks out back like this. So I've seen it done. And this is the bottom side. Push it in. It sits good. Has some screws to hold it in place, which. Why not? I'll put them in place. Two screws that come with the decoder. Here's one. And here's two. I guess that's uh keeps you from having to solder it in place and Lose the sound bug if you ever want to switch decoders or something like that. Okay. Uh, this is again is the front, and I know the three lights go towards the front because that's where the ditch lights are. I'm going to route these motor contacts back through these holes. And we'll do a little check here how we're doing. Still sitting okay, but the sound decoder kind of bushes up there. Okay, so screw the uh, decoder back down. There's one uh, the front screw. And the rear screw. Hmm, it's actually not pointed, I thought the other one was. Now 
I want to just make sure that they're not contacting the motor. It's got clearance there, down here, down here, the flywheels. Uh, it's connected to the motor. Let's see, we got a wire there. I think. Let's. Uh, I'll reinstall the wire clips, the uh, power contacts that go to the trucks. And then I'll worry about stashing the capacitor somewhere. Can't remember if it goes in the back or the front. Probably the back. Got a lot of room back there above the uh, worm gear or something. <clears throat> to install these clips you just uh, kind of lift them up a little bit with a little screwdriver. Slide the wire in. Push the clips down. Keeps good contact. Them up dead, push the wire in, push the clips down, lift them up dead, the wire lined up, push it in, push it down, good enough. And this is a little different than the actual light board. The actual light board has some little notches in the side that you can route the wires through on the front. So it was notched here and here. The Digitrax doesn't really have that. It's just, I guess, just route them how you can. The best to be out the way. As long as they're free to con contact where the light pipes connect I think it should be good um, maybe I'll actually do these on the inside I think it would still freely connect with light pipes Shoving them in there. There we go. That'll hold them in place. And I don't need the chuff, white chuff sink wire. I think that's what it's called. And uh, eventually I'll get a little tape and crumple these up. Put them over here. I think it's a good place to uh, collect the wires. I think we'll have plenty of room there. Plenty of room for the capacitor here. But before I tape everything down, I want to just take this up and give a little test, make sure it's wired correctly. So we'll do that. Okay, I've got it set up on the test track and uh, let's turn it on. Sounds like set up for a steam whistle. It's like the ditch lights are set up on different uh, outputs. <laughs> one uh, one light is set up as the uh, short whistle. One's light set up with the bell. Cut the plank. I don't know what that is. There's a long whistle, number seven. And nine's got another one. So I check the rear light. Rear light works. I'll have to make sure I leave room 
the rear light also to the light pipe um, yeah I think that's about it for install not hard just now to uh, put the uh, shell back on and reprogram this baby so it has better than steam towns <laughs> thanks uh, thanks for watching